Ladies and gentlemen, Penny Maroney. Hi. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You know, I've been at this church for oh, almost when it started. That's how long I've been here. When it was a little church, now it's the big church. But I've been here all these years, and I've had such great teaching. But anyways, I'm here to tell you that um, John and I have always, we li lived on the lake, and we lived on the main channel. And we would see when these storms would be coming. And so we always prayed over the weather, always prayed over the weather. I would speak, you know, to the, to the wind, be calm, you know. And so um, that instilled in us, that's the first thing we always do. We don't worry about the weather. I mean, I have a lot of friends that say, oh, it's going to rain. We're going to do, we can't do this. We can't do, we pray over it. And it will be done. So I have to stay here. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, so I, am, I have a prayer group. And um, I've been leading a prayer group for six years. And I also am involved in three other prayer groups. Well, this past summer, I went to, um, I was going to go to this prayer group. And it was 95 degrees. And the humidity was like, oh, it was horrible. And it was going to be outside. And I thought, and I was kind of struggling with a little bit in my chest and a little bit hard, having time to, hard to breathe. So I thought, oh, Lord, I'll go, but I don't know. I can maybe only stay for half an hour. I don't know if I can handle this. I don't do well in the humidity anyways. So anyway, I, so I prayed in the spirit all the way going there. Well, I get there, and um, we're outside, and I said, you know what? I'm going to pray over, pray over this. So I just went and I said, Father, I'm, I'm, I'm asking for the atmosphere, the heavenly atmosphere to come down here and dissipate this, this humidity. Give us your fresh breath, the breath of life through here, that we can, we can pray, that we will not be, we will not be um, you know, uh, suffocating here. So anyways, I, I don't remember what I said, but those, it was kind of the idea. I just called for the heavenly atmosphere down. So um, within five minutes, <laughs> within five minutes, it had totally changed. It was, it was like you can, you, I mean, there was no humidity. It was not hot. And this cool breeze came. And I said to the girl, I said, wow, you have, do you always have this? No, she says, we never have a cool breeze. There's no breeze or storms, she said. It's either no breeze or storms. And we would get this heavenly breeze. And so, and then this sweet aroma. I smelled it one other time when I was outdoors worshiping. The sweet aroma that came. And it came and it, it just rolled in and rolled out and rolled in and rolled out. You've smelt it, haven't you? And anyway, so, I mean, it is just, um, it, it's like nothing you ever, I mean, it's just wonderful. And there were no flowers. There were no flowers. We looked around and there were no flowers. And I, and I thought, wow. This, I've smelt this before. Thank you, Father. You're always there when we, you know, all we have to do is go to him and take our authority over the situation that we're in. And let me say another thing. My, one of my pr the prayer people that was supposed to come, she woke up with laryngitis that day, and she could not go. So I was praying over the atmosphere where we were, and about an hour later, it went over to her house, and she was completely, she could talk, she had energy. She said, I don't know what happened to me. She said, I have no idea what happened to me. And I said, well, I don't know what happened to you, but I know what happened to us. I mean, the atmosphere was wonderful, and we just, and so I stayed there for five hours praying. So, I mean, it was like, it was amazing. So um, all I can say is, you know, um, when we are with people that you're not sure of, 
that kind of rub you the wrong way, pray over the atmosphere before you go, like over Thanksgiving dinner with your relatives, <laughs> you know, or you know, who I, you know what I'm saying? Pray over the atmosphere. I'm, I mean, it will, and so I, my, one of my prayer, other prayer ladies, she was having a, trouble with her husband, and she said, we are going to go for a ride, and she says, we haven't talked in I don't know how long, and we're, it's a long ride, and I said, well, just pray over the atmosphere in your car before you get in, because you don't know what's in your car. You're going through a lot of areas where something can come in that is not what you want. And so she did, and I, so I called her the next day. I said, how was your talk? She said, Penny, it was unbelievable. It was the best talk we've had in years. So that is something that we need to really think about, praying over that atmosphere that we walk into. Because we don't know what, what's there. And so for, the, for me, that was, I mean, all I can say is God is always faithful. And it, you ask, you have not because you ask not. And you don't take your authority when you need to. And so um, anyways, that, that's my testimony. I have a lot more, but that's the one I'm going to give you today. So.